Islam is the largest religion in Turkey. More than 99% of the population is Muslim. And as a Muslim living in Turkey, one should learn the words related to Islam. In this video, I will show you all what you need regarding this particular topic. We're going to talk about words related to Islam and their meaning in Turkish, mosque, salah or prayers, the terms used in Ramadan, the Hijri month, how do we say them in Turkish, clothing, and some words related to special occasions. Bismillah, let's start. First of all, words related to Islam. Muslim in Turkish is Müslüman. 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 Islam is the same Islam. Islam. Quran is the same in Turkish Quran. Sunnah is Sünnet. Sünnet. Now we come to the words related to the mosque. Ablution or wuzu is abdest in Turkish. Call to prayer is izan, izan. The dome is kubbe, kubbe. The imam who is the leader of the prayer is the same, imam. Also, minaret is minare, minare. Mosque is jami, jami. Muezzin, the person who gives the call to prayer in Turkish, Muezzin, Muezzin. Also, a word related to the mosque, the mihrab is called the same, but you have the P at the end, which is mihrab, mihrab. The pulpit in Turkish is called minber, minber. Salah or the prayer is namaz. Now we come to the name of the prayers. We have the morning prayer or the Fajr Salah is called Sabah Namaz. Sabah Namaz. The Duhur prayer is Öğle Namaz. Öğle Namaz. The Asr prayer is called Ikindi Namaz. Ikindi Namaz. Maghrib prayer is Aksham Namaz. Aksham Namaz. Aksham is evening, so the Maghrib prayer is Aksham Namaz. Daisha prayer, in Turkish we say it Yatsı Namaz. Yatsı Namaz. The performing of the prayers or the Salat is Namaz Kılmak. Namaz Kılmak. Let's start now with the terms we use in Ramadan. To fast is uruç tutmak. Tutmak is to hold or to grab. But in Turkish we say uruç tutmak means to fast. Iftar is iftar. Iftar. Laylatul Qadr. In Turkish is kadir gecesi. Kadir gecesi. Gece in Turkish means night. So kadir gecesi means Laylatul Qadr. Ramadan is Ramazan in Turkish. Ramazan. If we want to say Ramadan Mubarak, we say Ramazan Mubarak also. Ramazan Mubarak also. Now, Sahur in Turkish means Sahur. Sahur. Next, the Tarawih prayers in Turkish are called Teravih Namaz. Teravih Namaz. Now it's time for the terms that we use in special occasions. The first one is Eid al-Fitr. Eid al-Fitr in Turkish is Ramazan Bayram. Ramazan Bayram. Bayram means feast and Ramazan is the month of Ramadan. So we say Ramazan Bayram for Eid al-Fitr. Eid al-Adha we say it as Kurban Bayram. Kurban Bayram. If you want to tell someone Eid Mubarak, you say Bayramınız Mübarek Olsun. Bayramınız Mübarek Olsun. Friday is called Juma. Juma. 
If you want to tell someone Cuma mübareka, Cumanız mübarek olsun. Cumanız mübarek olsun. We continue with the special occasions. We have the hajj. You say hajj. Hajj. Umra. al umra is umre. Umre. Now, regarding the hijri month, we have, first of all, Muharram is Muharram. Muharram. The second month is Safar is Safar. Safar. Rabi'ul Awwal is Rabi'ul Awwal. Rabi'ul Awwal. Rabi'ul Akhir is Rabi'ul Ahir. Rabi'ul Ahir. Jamal al Awwal is Jamazi al Awwal. Jamazi al Awwal. Jamal al Akhir is Jamazi al Ahir. Jamazi al Ahir. The month of Rajab is Rajab. Rajab. The month of Shaban is Shaban. Shaban. Ramadan, as we said before, is Ramazan. Ramazan. The month of Shawwal is Shawwal. Shawwal. Dulkada is Zilkade. Zilkade. Dulhajja month is Dilhijje. Dilhijje. Finally, we're going to mention some Turkish terms regarding the Islamic clothing. First of all, we have the headscarf. We can either say isharp or baş örtüsü. Isharp or baş örtüsü. The niqab is called çarşaf. Çarşaf. Next, we have the jubba or the kurta. is called cübbe. Cübbe. And at the end, we have the takiyi or the cap. It's called takke. Takke. I would like to thank you for staying till the end of the video. If you liked it and you found it beneficial, share it with those who are learning the Turkish language.